Hey guys, so I thought this was a pretty interesting article from The Verge because Coinbase is preparing to go public and their customer support is lacking is, is uh, according, according to customers of that um, product or that trading platform, um, which doesn't surprise me at all. Um, you know, customer service isn't gonna be the thing that Coinbase cares about most. Uh, adoption is what they care about most and going public and making money themselves um, but customers are reporting their accounts being hacked or locked and then they have a hard time getting the customer support, if there even is such a thing, at Coinbase in order to get some help. Um, so they're saying that um, the story basically shows that users who run into trouble could be left out in the cold. So um, <clears throat> the New York Times is what's originally reporting this, um, talking about dozens of customers who have had money stolen from their accounts or who have had their accounts locked which seems to be a frequent complaint according to the article, but <clears throat> and apparently some people in Reddit are saying that. So, and I could see that too. The first thing Coinbase is gonna do is lock the account and freeze the assets while they investigate. And you probably hit a backlog um, on their end determined, determined by the severity of the case, it would be my guess. So probably that's their, their knee-jerk response to some sort of incident is to freeze which is going to teach Coinbase customers to not even um, raise an issue in some cases because they don't want to see their account get freeze and go through all the hassle of that, get frozen rather. Uh, but the, the article talks about the difficulties getting in touch with a real person at Coinbase. No surprises there. Um, and crypto trading is always active. That's one thing that's kind of funny and quite a bit of an adjustment. We're used to, you know, uh, normal business hours for trading um, on the stock market in the United States. Um, so markets closing at uh, 4 p.m. Central, 5, 5 p.m. Eastern. I believe that's the close. Well, crypto never closes, so um, you can trade any time of the day or night. Um, and apparently the company's vice president of customer experience, or otherwise known as CX, says that they face a unique set of customer experience challenges. Well, that's a very nice way of saying um, the night, the markets are always open, so they're always getting tickets, basically. So they got a lot of volume is, is what I read there, but um, they should know that and they should be prepared for that. Um, but it's saying that Coinbase's trust issues go back a long time, back to 2014. Um, accounts getting hacked. Not sure how that's happening. You'd have to look at each individual um, account, but if you protect your assets and if they protect things on their end, that shouldn't be happening at all. Um, they added 2,000 people to their support team. Well, I'm guessing those are offshore call center people, so probably not quality people. Probably it's just first line support that's going to give, that's my guess, is that it's going to get you um, a ticket created, um, you know, from co some call center in India that's going to get routed to the United, the United States for working on the ticket. Um, so I'm not too impressed by that. Um, Coinbase subreddit is people talking about how the company's support hasn't been helping them. Um, and yeah, this is, this is a good point. Reddit posts aren't verified proof of an issue. So it's just people talking on Reddit. So where do you get your verified proof? Well, you're only gonna get, Coinbase isn't gonna release that information. You're only gonna get it from people that claim to have problems with Coinbase. Some people could be flat out lying. Other people could be telling the entire truth, so it's hard to tell. Um, but it kind of has this bad reputation going into the IPO. So, um, you know, if people don't feel like they can trust it, um, they're gonna look for other um, alternatives there. So, um, interesting article. So I'm a Coinbase customer and I have not had any problems, but I'm also a new Coinbase customer. Um, so we will see if I do have any problems. I don't have a lot of money in there right now, but I'm planning on putting more in there. So um, if there are other options for me in the United States, I might explore those. But for now, Coinbase seems to be the place. So thought you might find that interesting. If you've had good or bad experiences with Coinbase, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear about it. And thanks for watching.